Proposed site selection for the construction of a new 739 seat high school facility at 203 05 32nd Avenue. And uh, at this time, I will ask our guest, Melanie LaRocca from the School Construction Authority and Michael Mirasol. And Michael Mirasol from the School Construction Authority to come up and give their presentation. Thank you. Now, I have a few ground rules. <coughs> and they will be adhered to. They will give their presentation. You will not call out. You will not boo. You will respect everyone in this room. Okay? I would appreciate that. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Marisola from the New York City School Construction Authority. I am the Director of External Affairs. I'm joined this evening by my colleague, Melanie LaRocca. Melanie is Chief of Staff to our President, Lorraine Grillo. And I also have Michael Morrissey here with me tonight, and Michael is from the Department of Education. Thank you to the board for giving us this opportunity to fulfill our obligation to you and to Community Board 11. Thank you to the chair for the excellent meeting that she ran the other last week. Uh, we appreciate the cordial atmosphere and the uh, respect that went both ways. We learned something. So let's start with the format formalities. Pursuant to section 1731 of the New York City School Construction Authority Act, notice has been filed for the proposed site selection of block 6030 lot 40 and any other property in the immediate vicinity which may be necessary for the proposed project located in the borough of queens for the construction of a new approximately 739 seat high school facility in community school district number 26. the proposed site contains approximately 54,000 square feet 1.24 acres a lot area and is located in the north side of 32nd avenue between 203rd Street and 204th Street in the Bayside section of Queens. It is privately owned and occupied by the Bayside Jewish Center. The site plan and supplemental materials summarizing the proposed action are available at the New York City School Construction Authority, 3030 Thompson Avenue, Long Island City, New York, 11101. Comments on the proposed action are to be submitted to the New York City School Construction Authority at the above address or emailed to sites at nycsca.org and will be accepted until November 20, 2015. Just a little bit of backup and background information, and then Melanie and I are here, and Michael are here, to listen to your comments during this dark comment period. As you know, Queen High Schools are significantly overcrowded, and in particular, the high schools located in District 26 face some of the most severe, serious challenges. According to the Enrollment Capacity and Utilization Report for 2014 and 15 school year, District 26 has the following utilizations. Francis Lewis High School is now utilized at 199%. Benjamin Cardoza High School, 148%. Bayside High School, 161%. Martin Van Buren High School, 75%. But the Business Technology and Early High School College High School, located inside Martin Van Buren, is utilized at 140%. Queens High School of Teaching and Liberal Arts, 106%. On aggregate, District 26 schools have a total a utilization of 140%. The School Construction Authority agrees with Community Board Number 11's position on high schools as noted in your FY 2016 statement of your district of needs, your district needs. In that document, the Community Board states that already overutilized schools have become dangerously overcrowded. And a new school should be built or leased to relieve the overcrowding. The Bayside Jewish Center was marketed publicly by the owner and came to our attention as a potential school site. It lies adjacent to Bayside High School Field and the Jewish Center building has served as a home of a private school program for a number of decades. 
Following the completion of our due diligence, we submitted an offer to the owner. The price was negotiated, an agreement was reached, and our offer was accepted. At this point, a contract was signed with no closing date scheduled. Closing, closing is contingent on successful completion of the school construction authority's public approval process. And that is where we find ourselves today. So as I said, Melanie and I are here to listen to you. We will attempt at the best we can to answer any of your questions. So thank you again for the opportunity. Oh, Michael will do it? Okay. Oh, it's just, just, just quickly, it, it, uh, someone mentioned that uh, eminent domain was going to be uh, used here. That's certainly not on the table. Just wanted to make that clear, that uh, there's no, no thought of using eminent domain. And the School Construction Authority has a policy of not using eminent domain on any occupied residence or uh, commercial building. So just to set the record straight, thank you. I would like to answer that. Thank you. Um, now I